John from Shine On here. And if you're watching this video right now, you're probably setting up a custom domain for the Shine On platform. So let's go ahead and break this down into a couple steps so you can get it all set up and ready and start selling. Now, the first step of what you're going to need to do is purchase that domain if you don't have it already. What I highly recommend is something simple like a GoDaddy. Um, sometimes it can be slightly more expensive, but their backend system is really easy to use and really simple to set things like this up. So, um, I mean, when you're talking $12 a year, I really don't think it's breaking the bank. So I highly recommend looking at GoDaddy to actually purchase that domain. Now, once you've purchased your domain, what you're gonna wanna look for are the DNS settings. DNS stands for Domain Name Systems, and this tells your URL what needs to happen when someone actively tries to go to it. Once you find your domain name systems uh, settings, what you're gonna need to look for are to create a couple different records. Now there's about three different type of records you're probably gonna see. There might be some setup, there might be not. The first type is an A record. This is uh, points your URL to an IP address. There's then a C name record, which is a conical name record, which allows your URL to be used as an alias in a website. And then what we're gonna create is a text record, which you probably don't have, but what that is, is it's actually a resource record for, your, for a server to reference uh, at your URL. So the first record that you need to either create or edit is the A record. Again, an A record actually takes your domain and points it to a specific IP address. The IP address that we are trying to connect it to is Shopify's IP address, which is 23.227.38.32. Now that you have pointed your A record, what you need to now do is look for the C name records. Now you might already have two created, you might have one or you might have zero. But what you wanna look for is if you have one that in like the host field has a www as the host field. What you want to look to do is edit or create one if you don't already have one. And uh, first of all, a C name means a comical name record. And what this does is it allows your URL to be used almost like an alias. And so you can point it to our site and we can use your URL. Uh, so what you're going to want to do once you go in and create this C name record in the host field, put www. And then for the actual uh, contents, you're going to want to put shops.myshopify.com and go ahead and save that. Now, the final record that we are going to be creating is actually your Facebook DNS record. And what this is, is a file that, uh, or a text record, like I said, which is a, considered a resource record for a server. Uh, and what this is doing is allowing Facebook to look at your URL and make sure that verification code is there so it knows that your URL is verified. Now, when you go into your Facebook manager settings, you should be able to find a brand safety area and under that is domains. And once you put your domain name in there, it'll give you three different ways to verify your domain. The very first one is DNS settings and there's gonna be this verification code. If you click on it, it'll copy it to your clipboard and you can go right into your DNS settings and create a text record, a TXT record, and add that Facebook verification code. Now, double check that you don't have any sort of quotation marks or anything around it. It should just start with like a FB dash and go on and end. So look for that and add that as that last record. Now that you've added all three of these records, you are actually all set to go and submit your URL to the Shine On platform so that we can get it set up on our end and you can start running traffic to your domain. I hope this video helps. Have a great day.